Welcome to the Value Add with me, Alex Pierce. Thank you for tuning in. We're looking at and doing some hands-on experience with Microsoft 365 Copilot. This time we're going to look at PowerPoint. What can we do with an existing PowerPoint presentation? This is our part one for PowerPoint. What kind of prompts do you want to see being used inside of a slide, creating slides, creating images? There's so much we can do with Microsoft 365 Copilot. So leave a comment below, subscribe and like so you get to see when the next video gets released. And I look forward to showing you what it can do. Let's get started. As you can see, I have opened up PowerPoint. It's actually PowerPoint Online. This is the experience that we get inside of both the browser for Edge, Chrome, or even inside of Microsoft Teams. It just opens up that progressive web application that is PowerPoint Online. I've taken a presentation that I actually presented at Collab Days in September, um, and I thought it'd just be useful to look at some existing content and be able to see what it does. As you'll see, we've got this Copilot icon here, which if I click, it will open up the right hand side panel, similar to what we did when we were inside of Word, and gives us some example prompts that we can do. We've also got the ability to obviously send the prompt, we can use our microphone, and also we've got some prompts that actually gives us some examples. You can see we've actually got four sets of categories, we only had two inside of Microsoft Word. So we can go off and we can do create. So we've got create a presentation from a file, which we'll try another video, create a presentation about, and we can give it a topic. Add a slide about best practices for participating in remote meetings. Maybe we'll try that one as part of this video. Understand, so summarize this presentation. Are there any dates or deadlines in this presentation? Show action items, show key slides in this deck edit some information, add an image, organize this presentation, and we can also go and ask it some questions. So how can a Copilot help me? I think this really remember is that this is actually here to help you support you to use Office applications. It's not just here to do things for you. So it's still here to be able to support you. And if we click on view more prompts, we get that same kind of Copilot Labs experience that we had in Word. We've only got a few here. Let's change the category. So we've got all these categories in here so we can go off and you can see that there's quite a few on here show you on track show some action items so as i said already got this existing powerpoint open so as you can see here create a presentation from a file summarize this presentation or organize this presentation let's do summarize first so working on it seems fairly quick um so many ideas that are kind of coming through in here so here's a summary of this deck microsoft 365 copilot is an AI companion that is here to help with everyday tasks. Absolutely it is. Who I was as a presenter, data strategy. A data strategy is the key to a Microsoft 365. I think it needs a bit more information there. Kind of say, well, why? Where's the why? Data strategy. A data strategy is key to the success of Microsoft 365 Copilot. Maybe my slide deck doesn't say that. I knew I was saying those kind of things. And then we kind of talk about the Microsoft Graph, extensibility and importance around that. And obviously, the Bletchley Park, it was run an event. And we've got obviously a few slides in there that support the, the, the free event that kind of run. So we've got the references. Let's just kind of see where it says references have come from. So it's telling us the text. So it's actually coming from um, this, as it says here, Microsoft 365 is an AI companion that helps you with everyday tasks. What's interesting is this is an image. And it's actually read this image. Um, which I'm actually quite impressed by, if I'm completely honest with you. The second reference comes from the Copilot Cheese Wheel, which you may well have seen in a couple of my other videos. So really interesting to see those kind of things that are there. Um, it actually changes context as well up here. You say add a slide about, create a presentation, create kind of a few things as you can kind of see here. So things have changed a little bit. So I reset my Copilot. I just refreshed it with it running in the browser. I wanted to have this kind of new experience down the right hand side for us to try organize this presentation. And if we click organize this presentation, let's see what it does. So working on a response for you, looking things over. So I guess it's looking at all my existing slides, the content that I've got, getting everything ready for me and let's see what it does. Now to note, having tried this previously, we've got 25 slides at this moment in time, we're on slide one. 
let's see what it does. Again, I'm going to let this run in real time like I did with the Word video. It says it's finishing up. And you can actually see that we've gone to 33 slides, if you notice down here on this bottom left hand corner. So we've kind of added a few things and it's told us what it's done here. So here's a suggestion on how to structure your deck. Add an agenda slide, introduction to the conference and the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So you can kind of see here as we go through these things that it's done this for me. It's pulled out some of the agenda items. It has uh, done an introductory around Copilot. Interestingly, that it thinks it's Microsoft Copilot. It's put some um, pilots there with their aviator glasses on. Uh, slide seven, so it's broken it down so it can see that actually we've got a slide about the speaker and the sponsors. So what it's kind of done, it's kind of categorized my presentation a little bit um, to be able to put information in there. Interesting, we're talking about Microsoft products and features. and We've got some COVID tests up on there. Um, breaking it down again, release of Microsoft Copilot. Uh, again, kind of using drones there. And we've got other flight things here as part of that Copilot theme. And then data strategy. I quite like that image, if I'm honest with you. It's good, good analogy, pay, pay it forward. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But data strategy and storage allocations. Um, let's pull some text from a, a previous slide. Um, and a con conclusion. So I, I personally don't like that kind of style of presenting where I have to have an agenda slide. I, I find that audiences um, kind of, well, they don't need a slide to tell you what's going next. Just, just kind of tell them, if I'm honest with you. But it is interesting to see how it's actually broken that down to um, how and how you should organize it. So maybe useful if you want to be able to understand how to break down a presentation. It doesn't quite suit my style, but I guess AI doesn't know that at this moment in time. So I thought as just a, a final example for this video for now is go off and try some of these prompts that we've got across the bottom here. And maybe we had a slide around what Microsoft 365 Copilot is. Probably something if you're doing training and adoption, you're probably going to go off and you're going to want something like that. So click on create. You can obviously do a presentation file. Got a nice little demo coming for that later on. And add a slide about so best practices for participating in remote meetings. So I'm going to say this is probably put this text in. All it's doing is kind of giving us one or two ideas. But add a slide about what Microsoft 365 Copilot is, and let's see what it does. So working on a response for you, looking things over. I hope that means it's looking at my existing content and understanding what that is, pulling it all together. Looking things over, let's say we, it's not super fast, it's something that's coming quicker. Um, so here we go, we've got um, quite an interesting slide actually. What is Microsoft 365 Copilot? Copilot is an AI powered tool designed to help people with more effectively with their Microsoft 365 apps. Actually got some quite interesting points here. Copilot Co Co leverages the power of Microsoft Graph and a platform that connects data and insights across Microsoft 365. It's actually recall content. It's fairly decent. Again, I'm just going to point out it's an American. Use an S there in the UK. Um, but uh, it kind of does help us to understand what it is. Now, let's look at this kind of response that we got here from Copilot itself. OK, here you go. A slide about Microsoft 365 Copilot has been added. If you'd like, Designer also has other layout options to consider. So let's click on this. Interesting that it being a bit red. And it has opened up that designer panel that we may well be used to, which just gives us a few little examples of how our content potentially could be looked at. Um, and we could obviously go off and search for images should we want to be able to go off and change that. What I will do jump back to is, I'm going to ask it, can you change the image to include a Microsoft logo? Just to see what happens, see what it thinks. And there's hopefully that projector will disappear and we'll have something different. Searching images. I can't do that just yet. The things I can help you with is review and select the suggestions or use a starter prompt. So as I say in previous videos, we've got so much more still to come with Copilot. 
Um, I'm quite excited by some of this. I like the way that it does these things and helps you and coaches you. And um, we will continue to do more stuff with PowerPoint. So I hope you found this useful just to see what PowerPoint can do. Really impressed with how this was actually done in PowerPoint Online in a Microsoft Edge browser. So we've got so much we can do. Please do leave any kind of prompt ideas in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again on the value add soon.